Hello, everyone. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Now, today I am using the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot card deck. So let's jump in to your quick glance at the energy of the day for Wednesday, October 26, 2022. And we have the Nine of Candles. Let me just bring this in a bit. Which really equates to the Nine of Wands. Well, something is grabbing your interest today as the Nine of Candles is showing up an indication of a current need for protection and conservation. So for some of you, you might be going through a challenging time and this card showing up is indicating self-preservation is the name of the game. So the message today is to guard your energy, guard your resources, and don't be afraid to ask for help today if you need it. Now, what I like about this particular Nine of Candles, Nine of Wands, is the different lengths of the candles, as these nine candles or wands, so to speak, are your past experiences. In some experiences, you'll learn things really quick, and others took a long time. Could be a situation or an energy around you today that you need to protect yourself from. And we are getting very close to that special day where the veil gets especially thin. Now, this is Sagittarius's card, ruled by the moon. What a combo, as Sagittarius can be very open-minded and optimistic and enthusiastic, but also extremely adventurous, unpredictable. It can be a very restless energy, very detached, uncommittal, possibly when it comes to relationships or just staying in one place. And with this being ruled by the moon, this is about your subconscious, your emotions. And when the moon is involved, there could be secrets. There could be things that you can't exactly see unless it's a full moon where the full light is shining. So we do see all of these candles are lit, providing some form of what I'm going to say warning, but the warning might not be what you're thinking. The warning with this card is in regards to the law of attraction, which is always at work, even though you can't see it. So be careful of a self-fulfilling prophecy today, because if you expect the worst, that's exactly what is going to come in. That's exactly the energy that will show up. So the nine of candles, the nine of wands, is of course being prepared, waiting for the other shoe to drop, and possibly for some of you expecting the worst and with good reason to be prepared as the law of attraction will bring what you're putting out into the universe. It's also a realization that you notice how you got to where you are right now through your own choices. And if you're not happy with where you are right now, you can make a choice to change that up as well. So this could be in regards to where you're living, this could be in regards to the job that you have, relationships. You have the power to change your destiny. The nine of candles concerns your third chakra. That's right at the solar plexus, a very fiery element. It concerns your will and determination, and only you can tap into that. The crystal that can help you out with today's energy that is specifically associated with the nine of candles is black tourmaline especially good for protection, which is what the Nine of Candles is concerning. It helps with awareness, negotiation, focuses your energy, keeping you calm, gives you mental clarity, but primarily wards off any negative energy, and it's a highly protective crystal. So big message and a big indication with the Nine of Candles, especially if you're concerned about something, is to protect your energy protect your resources, be prepared and hope for the best. A positive mindset will return that energy to you tenfold. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel, love and abundance. Until tomorrow.